Hello and welcome to your first Perl tutorial. Today I will be showing you the very basics of how to use the Perl language. And for this tutorial I'm going to be using the Atom, uh, Atom IDE as well as my command prompt here. You can use any IDE you want including Padre, Padre I think it's pronounced, and Notepad++ as long as you have uh, Perl installed. I'll leave a link to all this stuff down below, the link to Perl, the link to Atom, and Padre if you prefer that. But without further ado, let's begin. So Perl is a very weird language in that there are a lot of weird syntaxes, and it's not your traditional language. So if I would not recommend this being your first experience to programming. However, if you're ready to take on the challenge, then I'll then we can get started. So how you declare a variable, or in uh, Perl they're called scalars, not the calculus type of scalar, just a, that's just the name of the variable. It's called a scalar. If you want to declare a scalar, that's how you say that is you say my, and then do a dollar sign, and then we'll just call this um, how about we just say hello world and then we'll set that equal to hello world and then a new line then we can also print our scalars by just saying print and then dollar sign hello world and that control s that and then we say Perl then the name of your project dot pl if you're using Atom and then you enter and then hello world is returned. Another thing you can do with Perl is you can take user input. So we can start off by creating a scalar called uh, user name. Under, by the way, underscores are very popular with uh, Perl, so, if, so try to get on board with that. And then we can say print enter your name and then we will say just um, here we'll say user name is equal to two angle brackets and then std in in all caps and then that will get your name and then you also want to say chomp uh, username what that will do because Perl's weird so when you hit enter on your name the enter actually gets uh, to be a part of this string here so it'll say your name is whatever you typed in plus a new line and it's really annoying so they added this chomp feature here to get rid of that so be sure to include that and then how we can display that is we could just say printf and then hello that hello percent s for string and then our user name here so now if we run that, enter your name, my name is Ben, then hello Ben, it says. And there we go. So that's the basics of Perl input and output. Another cool thing you could do with Perl is, let me actually just zoom in here, you can declare arrays. Arrays are really cool because um, arrays, scalars, and something called hashes, which I'll do a whole separate video on because they can get they can get pretty complex. They can all work together. That's basically the three forms of how data can communicate with each other in Perl. So I'm going to be showing you an array now. So how you declare an array is you declare much like a scalar, say my, except in doing, instead of doing a dollar sign now, you'll say at. So then we'll just call this my array for my array. Then we'll set that equal to just one, two, three, four, five. And then how we can loop through our array is actually really cool. It's really easy because uh, Perl has been around for like 30 years, so there are a lot of cool features that are built in. There's l many ways to do this, but this is the easiest way, in my opinion, to do this. So if you don't want to do it this way, that's fine. You can look up your own way how to do it, but this is the way I'm going to show you. So you can just do four, and then the name of your array, so my ray, and then you just print dollar sign underscore. And what dollar sign underscore is, 
is it's the current iteration, not to be confused with at sign underscore, which is a completely different thing. At sign underscore means whatever the user types in. We'll get into that when we get into Perl object oriented programming. However, right now, this is just the current iteration. Dollar sign underscore is what that means. So if we control S this, let me clear this, and then we say that, it'll loop through our entire array. And let's say we want to get just one value from the array. Well, we could do that by declaring a scalar. So we'll say um, first value. Oh, I forgot them. My first value will be equal to at my ray um, zero. And then we could just print dollar sign first value just like that and then we run that and actually I should probably put that on a new line there so you could just make it stand out and also if I do that I need to put quotations around it just like that and there we go it got the first value so this is our entire array one two three four five then got the first value and then if we wanted it and then there's actually another way that we can get the first value is instead of saying uh, at my my ray zero, we can just say, uh, not push, shift, and then the array that we want to shift at my ray, and that will do the same thing. So the reason that shift works is because shift j literally just means return the first value. And then another thing that we could do, sorry, someone needed something, anyways, um, where was I? Another thing we could do is we can get the last value from our array. So how we do that is we can my we can declare scalar last value and then we'll set that equal to pop at my ray. Just like that. And then once again we will print this value by doing quotation marks, we'll slash end that and then last value there. And then if we save that and then we run that, you'll see this is our first value and then this is our last value. So yeah, um, that's the basics for um, pretty much all the data types in Perl except for hashes. I, I want to do a separate video on hashes because there are there's a lot to go over for hashes. But anyways, um, that's pretty much it. I'll leave all the source code down in the description. I'll have to go back and get some of that. But uh, yeah, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you next time. Bye.